So here's a quick review of the uh, Victiv 72 inch tripod that I just bought. Um, it comes in this box as you can see right here with a carrying case as you might see here and a couple accessories. Uh, it comes with an extra detachable plate which is handy in case you lose one or whatever might happen to it. And uh, one of these uh, accessories for attaching a cell phone which I probably will have no use for but you might. Now let's look at the tripod itself. Walking over here I have it set up as you can see the legs are fully extended at the moment and it is quite tall. Uh, I'm about six feet tall and this thing here is pretty much uh, on par with uh, being at eye level with me. So that's um, pretty impressive. It's a nice big tall one, there's no question about that. I have one of my cameras attached to it at the moment as you can see. Um, it's uh, made of aluminum. The legs are made of aluminum and uh, plastic essentially are the components that uh, hold it together, the fasteners and uh, you know this portion here where you can attach a, a bag to weigh it down a little bit. Uh, all the fasteners again are uh, made of plastic, uh, the leg joint areas are plastic. It has a, a little level on it here that you may not be able to see, I don't know if that'll come into focus at some point there you go you see you have a little bubble level uh, and uh, it, it as you can see the camera attached to it um, it has a quick release plate obviously so I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just well I guess I could do it one-handed hopefully let me grab a hold of this so it doesn't go flying you basically just pull it back and it releases the plate the camera can come right off as you can see like that and then it just fastens back into place as so. Um, it has a couple of uh, pan and tilt functions. If you loosen this portion up here you can pan it from um, left to right and if you loosen this portion right here, the handle, uh, it can then tilt forward and backwards. And obviously you can pan and tilt as you wish and in order to fix the orientation you just simply tighten the handle, tighten this knob and it is firmly in place. Um, it also if you uh, loosen this portion back here this little knob you can then place it on a different orientation so that you can have it let me loosen this here a bit too so I can show it towards me so you could put it in basically portrait mode and take uh, vertical shots if that's something you like and then obviously you can tighten it in that orientation or if you want a different angle you just put it like that and tighten it and that will hold it at that angle and so you have several different options for yourself there um, now here's where it gets really impressive if I loosen this knob here and I begin to crank this little lever here Look how tall this thing gets, it's unreal. I'll try and do this one handed. Oops, sorry. There we go. I'm right handed, I'm trying to do this with my left hand, sorry. So let's crank her up. Just give me a second, I need two hands. Sorry about that view, but here we go. Fully extended. This thing is, you know, my ceilings here are probably eight, eight and a half feet tall, nine feet tall, something like that. And it's quite tall. So here's my arm extended, and I could reach the top of it, obviously. But again, I'm about six feet tall. So this thing, uh, well, it's, it's a true 72 inches. It is very, very tall. I mean, if you need to set that up somewhere where you have a good view over a crowd or something to that effect, uh, you can certainly do that. I mean, that's really, really tall. Sorry about the view. I know that that's not ideal for me to put it in portrait mode while I'm video recording, but you get the idea. There you can see how tall it is. One other thing I wanted to mention, too, is that the, the feet here, as you can see, it has these um, sort of articulating flat feet so that they can be moved obviously with like a ball joint here 
but I like the fact that it's got this nice uh, adjustable flat portion here. When I say adjustable, I mean that the ball joint will contour itself to the ground so you have a nice sort of level uh, footing. And that's what you have on all three feet of the tripod. Also has one of these uh, foam pads here so that you can grab hold of it uh, with some comfort and ease. And it is tall. It is definitely very, very, very tall. And that's the major selling point of this thing, I guess. If you need something that is going to accommodate height, well, you have it in this one. Uh, all in all, I like it. It's uh, It's got a pretty decent quality build. Like I said, it's aluminum and plastic, most of the construction. Uh, and it uh, certainly can accommodate all sorts of different uh, uh, orientations with the panning, tilting, and... Uh, the portrait stuff and the angles that you can get and the height of it just offers you so many opportunities uh, I mean imagine having this thing sort of closed up the legs closed and you holding it up with one hand kind of thing imagine how tall you can get it you can really get some pretty incredible views with this uh, this type of a tripod